joined today. Uh, a very warm welcome to all the students and parents and relatives and cousins who've joined in today. Thank you so much. This is our first uh, recital, which is going to be live. Previously, we had recitals uh, where the performances were recorded, but uh, today seems to be a very special day because everybody will be performing live from their homes. Uh, a lot of questions that students did ask, what happens if we miss, what happens if we make a mistake? Uh, do we have to play again? Do we have to stop? Will others know, etc.? Of course, all of these things do come in uh, when you are playing, but when it's about the spirit of performance, all you have to do is give it your best. And another important point, what you're performing here and your performance is not the end result of your learning. Performance is just one aspect of learning uh, because you are able to share the talent that you have learned with others. You're able to play for others, but it, it's important how well you have learned and how well you have practiced because it often happens, right? Whenever you practice it, you always get it right. But whenever you have to show it probably to your teacher or perform it in an audience, that it's not always 100% perfect and that's okay um that's absolutely okay but it takes a lot of courage to actually perform live and some of them uh, i'm still hoping that they are going to come in and join too soon because they are a little scared of performing live i'm really hoping they come during their turn but if not uh, congratulations again for being here and we are going to begin quickly uh, with the first performer for today I request everyone while the performances is going on, you can keep yourselves mute, but uh, if, most importantly, once the performance is over, please unmute yourself and applaud loudly for the person who's performed. All right, great. Uh, so are we good to go? Can I get a thumbs up? Okay, that seems good. So our first performer is Nimra. Hi, Nimra. Hi, Nimra, and I am going to perform Jennifer Chokhani Rotten by Wolfgang Amelius, Musa, born in Salzburg, Austria, 27th on 27th January, 1756. Thank you, Nimra, for this information. Yes. That was beautiful. Thank you. The first performance is, was a power packed performance. Thank you, Nimra. Okay, now we are going to the next performer of the day. We have Damien, who is going to perform for us, uh, Bella Chow. Damien, are you here? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Today, hi, everyone. Today, I'm. Um... Hi everyone, today I'm going to play Bella Chow. It, it is a... It's okay, you can say whatever you remember. Wait, uh, miss something is happening in this. Oh, okay. Check. Hi everyone, my name is Damien. Today I'm gonna play Bella Chow. It is an Italian folk song uh, from the late 19th century. Uh, it is now popular as it as it is in the Money Heist series. Bella Chow means uh, goodbye, beautiful. Thank you. 
Wow, that was beautiful. Great, great confidence and beautifully played. Thank you, Damien. You had some really nice beats to hear there. Okay, uh, moving to the third performer for today, we have Alanis, who's going to play for us uh, two songs and she's going to tell us something about it. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alanis Mendoza and today I'm going to play two songs. The first song is Sunrise. <laughs> That was beautiful. Thank you, Alanis. Very, very confidently played. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, we'll now move on to the next performer. Aaron, he isn't here today. I'm hoping he will join soon uh, or not be quite nervous about that. Till then, we will move on to the next performer. We have Jay who is going to perform for us Pirates of the Caribbean. And this is a special performance because he is performing on the recorder. So Jay, over Hello. to you. Hello everyone. My name is Jay. Today I will perform Pirates of the Caribbean composed by Hans Zimmer. Thank you. That was great. And thank you for staying calm and cool and performing again for us. Thanks Jay. Okay, over to the next performer of the day. We have Ethan, who's going to play for us Aina Kleiner Nach music, and he's going to tell us something about it too. So, over to you, Ethan. Hello, everyone. I am Ethan Dalmeda, studying in class seven. I'm playing Aina Kleiner Nach music, which is in German. In English, we say a little night music. Hope you enjoy it. It is composed by Bruce Bian Amadeus Mozart. Thank you. 
Very good. That was a very confident performance. Uh, if you have noticed, we started with Mozart, Nimra playing the 25th symphony, then we have a Mozart again, and probably we have some more tunes of Mozart coming in very soon. So thanks, Ethan. And now we will move on to our next performance, which is also a performance on the recorder. And we have Akash, who's going to be playing that. Yes, we could continue. So Akash, over to you. Um, and you can start telling something about your pieces and about yourself. Hello everyone, I'm Akash Chanwani. I'm in 8th standard. I play the keyboard and I'm learning the recorder. Today I'm going to be playing two pieces for you. The first piece is the Etel theme composed by A.R. Rahman. Thank you, that was great. The second piece is Can Can, piece is Can -Can which is a comic opera from uh, Orpheus in the Underworld. It is written by Jacques Offenbach. I will be playing it in three different tempos, Adagio, Moderato and Presto. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Wow, that was a roller coaster there. Okay, thank you. And uh, that was great to hear the same performance, same piece in three different tempos. The original is also in presto. So that is why we had a little bit of variation there. Thanks, Akash. That was very refreshing. Okay, moving to the next performer for today, we have Jane, who's going to play two of the pieces for us. So Jane, over to you. Over to you. I'm Jane and I'm going to play two pieces. The first piece is Shake a Tune. It is composed by Joseph Brackhead. And I'm going to play. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> And the second, thank you. And the second piece is uh, English Country Garden. It was composed by Presley Granger. Granger. Thank you. 
you, Jane. That was beautiful and very confident two performances. And also, uh, these performances are from her grade one exam, which she will be giving very, very soon. So all the best for that. Okay, moving on to the, uh, the next performance, we have Pranit. But before that, I'd like to have Aaron. Aaron, can we have you perform now? Okay, I'm still waiting and seeing if Aaron is going to perform. Well, nervous jitters, uh, I'll catch him soon. Before uh, we are quickly going to move ahead, uh, Pranit was not able to make it here. So we are going to play some uh, audios. He was able to send the video across. So he's playing two pieces. One is the classical piece called Bure, which is by Bach. And here it goes. Okay, that will be the first performance, and uh, I'll quickly put the second performance on. So that was Bure. The second performance he was going to perform is the Funfair Blues, and here it comes. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, he couldn't be here, but it would have been lovely to see him perform live. Um, okay, moving on to the next performer, we have Geeta, who is going to perform for us two pieces. So over to you. Thank you, Miss Jennifer. Hi, everyone. My name is Geeta, and the first piece I'll be performing is an audio by Christine Donovan. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Hi, Geeta. Sorry, uh, we weren't able to hear the last part of the performance. So if you don't mind, if you could please perform for it again. Oh, oh uh, yes. Sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you, Miss. Uh, the second piece I'll be playing is Clementine. Now, this is an old English folk song, but now it's used in um, many of our modern pieces today. That was beautiful. I'm sure I could see a lot of smiling faces, a lot of them who recognize the song as well. <laughs> so that was that. Thank you, Geeta. Very beautiful performances. And I must say, she is also preparing for a grade three exam. So I wish her all the best. Okay. Uh, moving to the next performer of the day, we have Shorya, who has joined us all the way uh, from Canada. And it's a different time zone for him. So I'm really glad that he is here to perform for us live. So over to you. Yes, thank you, Miss. Um, so today I'll be playing Minuet and G first. And then I'll, after that, I'll be playing um, Giorn of Steam. Minuet and G is performed by Johann Sebastian Bach. I mean, composed by Johann Sebastian Bach. And uh, Giorn of Steam is composed by Hugo Kano. So I'm going to start. Um, Minua and G, and I'll be playing Gio and Steam. <laughs>
that was awesome. Amazing. That was awesome. Thank you. So, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope everybody did enjoy a different kind of music. So this, uh, it, it was new for me as well. Something for me to learn too. Uh, it's an anime music. So that was great. Thank you, Shoria. So moving on to the next performer of the day, we have Aldrich, who's going to play one classical and one uh, very famous Bollywood tune. So over to Aldrich. Hello, everybody. My name is Aldrich, and today I'm going to play Hungarian Dance No. 5 by Johannes Brahms. He has composed 24 Hungarian dances of D. The uh, number five is the most popular one. Second song for today is Tongi Ho by the movie RCT2, and it is sung by Arijit Singh, composed and written by Mithun Sarma. That was beautiful. So, um, Aldrich is also preparing for exam, but since second song was of your own choice or something other than classical music, students have gone all out to pick their favorite ones. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Um, moving on to our next performer, last performer for the day, we have Vian, who's going to play for us Takush March and um, a nice jazzy blues. I am G. Unmute myself, unmute myself. 
Yeah. We can hear you. We can hear you. My name is Vian Bora from class one. Today I'll be playing the boogie dance for my first song. Beautiful, okay. Beautiful, okay. taken up a job of learning this entire piece which is of a great another level but he's doing pretty well in learning that slowly and steadily day by day.
So great job and thank you for the performance. Uh, we also have Jay who will be performing for us one last time uh, because usually it's, I mean, whenever we have the lesson, it's amazingly clear and we really want you to enjoy his performance the way he is uh, prepared it for. So Jay, go for it. Hello everyone, my name is Jay. Today I'll be performing Pirates of the Caribbean composed by Hans Zimmer. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. able to perform really well. Thank you so much for making it. Now for the final, of course, uh, since my name is on the list, um, I will be performing for you. Looks like I was the most nervous person today. Uh, coming to the second piece. The second piece was more of a modern piece. It's called River Flows in You by Hiruma, one of the very popular pieces of piano. So hope you enjoy it. to try and tell me where you've heard what I'm playing right now and what is it called. So there it goes. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so where have you heard it? Oh yes, 20th Century Fox, that's already there. <laughs> yes, good, you recognize that. So before your movie begins, you always have the movie studio thing. Here's another one. Let's see if you can get this one. Yes, that is Disney. Disney? I'm sure he's taking all the answers away. So whenever you have the Disney starting, uh, you always have this intro. Okay, um, let's have another. Sound familiar? Yeah, this one is the Sounds one with familiar? the globe. I just don't remember it. Yes, we're just trying to get the name out of it, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, it is called Columbia Pictures. So the woman with the lamps, the Columbia. I want to okay. learn piano, but first we okay. learn. Going to um, second last, and then I have a last. Piano. But the guitar is in English. Have you ever heard of that? Very short piano intro. Pixar. This is called the Warner Brothers. Tom and Jerry. Little bits of it. Okay. Uh, coming to the last one, and this is the most famous one. Okay. Let's see if you can remember this one. Century of Fox again, I think. Yes. Does it sound familiar? Familiar or no? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just the name uh, must be missing. Yes. So this is called the Universal Key, Universal Studios, which probably keeps it moving. Yep. Um, interesting that how we can try and get the entire orchestra that plays on a piano because that's the most special part of piano. It has a great and amazing range where you can play everything. And I'm so glad that you all have selected and you're learning this and going and growing with it day by day. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly and looking forward to see you all for the Christmas recital again. So that's going to be quite fun. We are going to start with Christmas pieces very, very soon. So thank you so much. Thanks for joining in. Thank you, Miss Bye. Bye.